Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. In this video, I will go over four questions which are similar to exam questions you would see about graphs of polynomials. Question one, write an equation for the cubic polynomial that corresponds to the graph of the function shown. Question two, the quartic polynomial f of x has a leading coefficient of one. The graph of y is equal to f of x is shown. Write an equation for f of x. Question three. A fourth degree polynomial is divisible by x squared plus one and x plus five. Which graph could represent the function defined by this polynomial? Question four. Write a polynomial equation that could correspond to the graph of the function shown. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. Let's solve each question in turn. We want to write an equation for the cubic polynomial. To do that, we'll identify the x-intercepts of the graph, then we'll write a linear factor for each of the intercepts, and then we'll multiply them all together and try to find the scaling factor of the polynomial. So let's get started. We have one x-intercept that x is equal to 3, and that will be a factor x minus 3. We have another x-intercept of 2, which will be the factor x minus 2. We have a third x-intercept of negative three, and then we have x minus a negative three, which will become the factor x plus three. We multiply all of these linear factors together, multiplied by a scaling factor a, and that will be the equation for the polynomial. But how do we solve for a? We need to find some other point on the graph. Here we have a convenient point, which is the y-intercept. So we have zero comma 18. That means p of 0 is equal to 18. So we substitute x is equal to 0 and p of x is equal to 18. This gives the equation 18 is equal to a multiplied by 0 minus 3 multiplied by 0 minus 2 multiplied by 0 plus 3. This means 18 is equal to 18a, which means a is equal to 1. So the cubic polynomial p of x is equal to x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. Now let's solve question 2. We have a quartic polynomial with a leading coefficient of 1. So now we identify the x-intercepts. So we have three of them, which means there's going to be a double root somewhere. So let's get started. We have one intercept that x is equal to 3. That will be a linear factor x minus 3. Here, we have an intercept that x is equal to 0, but we have an interesting phenomenon that the graph bounces off this. So we're going to have a double root here. So it's going to be the factor x minus 0 raised to the second power. Finally, we have x is equal to negative 4, which will be the factor x plus 4. We know the leading coefficient is equal to 1, so we just simplify this to get the equation for f of x. So f of x is equal to x squared multiplied by the quantity x minus 3 multiplied by the quantity x plus 4. And that's the answer. Now, question 3. This is a bit trickier. A fourth degree polynomial is divisible by x squared plus 1 and x plus 5. So which graph could represent the function defined by this polynomial? So if the polynomial is divisible by x squared plus 1, then one of its factors is x squared plus 1. So we can solve that x squared plus 1 equals 0 will give roots of the polynomial. So this equation has roots x is equal to i and negative i. So these are imaginary roots. These are not real roots. So these two roots will not correspond to any of these graphs as an x-intercept. So two of the x-intercepts will be gone of the four. So the graph has to have exactly two x-intercepts at most. 
So we can eliminate any graph that has four x-intercepts shown. So we can eliminate option A because it has four x-intercepts, and we can eliminate option D because it has four x-intercepts. So those can't be the answer. Then the polynomial has a factor of x plus five. So this will correspond to an x-intercept that x is equal to negative five. So that will be option C, and we eliminate option B. So the answer here is C. Now for question four. Write a polynomial equation that could correspond to the graph of the function shown. So we're going to look for the x-intercepts, but it's going to be a little bit trickier. So here we have one intercept that x is equal to four. That's a factor of x minus four. Here we have an x-intercept that x is equal to two, but this looks more like a cubic equation. So the graph doesn't bounce off, so it's not a double root, but in this case we can say it might be a triple root, it could be a fifth root or so on. We'll keep it simple and keep it as a triple root. So we have the factor x minus two raised to the third power. Finally, we have negative one, but here the graph bounces off, which means it'll be a double root. So we have x plus one raised to the second power. So we then multiply all of these together, multiply by a scaling factor, and we look for any other point on the graph. So here we have the y-intercept of negative four. So we look for negative four is equal to y and x is equal to zero. We substitute in, then we need to solve for a. So we simplify this equation and we get a is equal to negative four over 32, which equals negative one over eight. So one polynomial equation that could correspond to the graph of the function shown is f of x is equal to negative one over eight multiplied by the quantity x minus two raised to the third power multiplied by the quantity x plus one raised to the second power multiplied by x minus four. And that's one of the possible answers. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.